Hello, bonjour, guten tag, buenos dias, dobri den, welcome to Me Paintings. I'm Veronica Me, and today I would like to use fluid art in creative way because I would like to use my acrylic pour as a background for birch trees. I will be using shades of green, olive green, sap green, earth green, then some beige, titanium white and light blue. I want to show you how I mix my colors so you can do that too. And this is all I need, acrylic paint, pouring medium and silicone oil. I'm using Lucas Crew Studio colors, which I buy in local art shop. And I'm going to put blob of paint in my yogurt cup. Well, three blobs of paint because I'll be painting on a big size canvas. And I mix my own pouring medium from PVA glue and water. I mixed 60% of glue, 40% of water that created my pouring medium. And I'm going to mix mix my paint in ratio one part of paint and two parts of pouring medium. Now let's mix it very well. That's done. So now I can put two drops of silicone oil in my paint. Don't put more because it would be too oily. So two or three drops. Mix it up a little bit. All prepared. I'll be painting on primed cotton canvas, which is size 50 by 70 centimeters. I've got black canvas, but there's no particular reason for that. You can use white. I just don't have white at the moment. That's why I'm using black. So I'm going to start by pouring two colors as a base color. I've got this beige, which will be here on the bottom. And then I've got this light blue color, which is actually a leftover color from previous pour. You can always use leftovers for your future projects. So this is leftover color and light beige here on the bottom. Spread it everywhere. This done, so here comes time for green. I'm gonna spread these shades of green here on the bottom, like this, here and there. And I also have got this leftover purple, so I'm going to spread it like here and there, just the little blobs of purple, not too much, just a little bit to add some interesting contrast in my green. And then white and light blue here on the top. Now I'm going to pour this earth green on the bottom and it will be my swiping color. And I've got this piece of plastic sheet, which is great tool for swiping. And I'm going to swipe all the way up there. It's beautiful, but it seems like there is too much paint here in the middle. So I'm going to also swipe down here.
Let's tilt it a little bit. I'm gonna use this small torch, which I bought in local shop. It was three euros, nothing special, but it helps to pop cells. As you can see, I left the bottom part like this because it will be representing forest and the top part will be representing sky. I love the softness of these colors. So I'm gonna let it dry for about a week. It needs to be completely dry before I start painting beautiful birch trees on this. So stay with me and I show you what to do next. Some details of these amazing cells. My favorite trees are birch trees and I love going for walks, touching them and I just love how they look. Birch trees can be a symbol of good luck in life. It's believed that for someone who loses something in life, the birch tree is a sign that they will receive something much better than what they lost. In Native American culture, the birch tree is strongly associated with guidance and protection. In Celtic mythology, the silver birch tree is regarded as one of the most sacred trees symbolizing new beginnings. And what is your favorite tree? Let me know in the comment below. After a week, the paint is dry and it looks pretty interesting. Perfect background for a tree theme. So I decided to do this glow in this part of my painting and for that I'm gonna use this metal leaf glue, it looks like this, like a gluey stuff, which I will apply with my brush. And once it gets dry, I'm gonna apply a silver or golden sheet on it and it should create a beautiful shine. So I'm just gonna spread the glue here in this part of my painting. like that everywhere in this part. Glue is dry, so it's time to add my silver foil. I'm gonna be using this one, which I bought in a local art shop. You have to be very gentle with this. It looks like this. And I found out that if I put this plastic folder on the top of it, it will be easier for me to lift it up like this, so it doesn't tear. And then I can put it on my glue. I'm gonna show you how to do that. Lift it up and put it on a place with glue. Like this. Perfect, I actually put it on a wrong place. There's also glue here, so I'm going to tear this part. Now I'm going to use this makeup brush for like spreading it like this. And I can use the leftover silver. I will put it in a jar and use it in my next project.
I'm gonna start with the background trees and for that I'm gonna use this masking tape. So let's decide where the first tree will be, maybe here, this is a good. I'm gonna tear this tape and create shape of a tree. Like this. And as you can see, it created this nice shape. And this is a very easy way how to paint trees or birch trees. I'm gonna fill it with paints gray color. And then I'm gonna apply white on the top of my dark color. Paint is dry, so now it's time to add crackle paste. I'm using this one, which I bought in local art shop. It looks like this, and I'm gonna use my palette knife, and I'm gonna try to spread it like this. I'm doing a very gentle strokes with this paste, and it creates a beautiful birch tree pattern. And I'm gonna let it dry for about a few hours and then I'm gonna take these, peel these tapes off and show you how it looks. Okay, time to take these tapes off and see how my birch trees look. It's perfect, beautiful, such an easy technique and it created a perfect background for birch trees. I'm gonna work on a few little details and paint some branches as well and then do these leaves with my sponge and then I will paint the big ones which will be in front. For branches I'm going to use paints grey color and this kind of brush with pointy tip and my hand will be very loose and I've got these leaks here which is perfect place for um, branch. So very loose hand and just a little branch like that. I'm also going to work on a few little details. Now I've got this kind of sponge, which is meant as a hairband, but I'm going to use it as a sponge and create these leaf patterns in the background. So let's tap and do just a little bit of tapping like this to create leaf patterns. You can use any kind of sponge, but don't overdo it, just a little bit. This is a lighter color because these will be in the background. Perfect, I'm gonna leave it like that because I don't wanna overdo it.
I'm also gonna paint shadows on my birch trees and for that I'm gonna use wet baby wipe and I'm gonna put a little bit of the dark paints gray on the tip of my wet tissue and I'm just gonna create a shadow. This one will have a shadow in the middle, some of them will have shadows on the edges. So let's show you how that works. I'm just gonna round in the middle with this. It creates a nice shadowy feeling on my birch tree. Well, it's not exactly in the middle, but you know, the central part of my birch tree. Now it looks more 3D. So I'm gonna do that on all birch trees. And now it's time to use the leftover silver, so I'm gonna sprinkle it here and just spread it with my fingers because I already put the glue in there and it should stick to some places and create a silver reflections in my leaves. And let's use my makeup brush. And this is the final result of my birch tree acrylic pour and I have to say I'm so in love with this piece. It's so magical and I love the silver shine which shows when the light is right. And these birch trees I use just a very simple technique which anyone can do but it looks so beautiful. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was inspirational for you. If you enjoyed it, please give a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. I also have got Instagram page, Me Paintings, where you can see all of my artwork. Thank you very much for watching and I wish you lots of success with your art projects. See you soon. Bye.